Hi, so if you're watching this video, it meant that you got this question wrong on today's warm up, and I'm going to take a second to show you how to answer a text dependent question. At the same time, oh, there go the girls. Sorry about that. All right, so one of my strategies for taking or answering text dependent questions is to look at the question before we even look at the text, okay? So the question being asked is based on the timeline, what was the most when was the most equality among citizens in Athens? When was there most equality among citizens in Athens? Okay, so now we look at the text features, forms of government in ancient Athens, okay? So ancient Athens, and we are looking for equality among citizens. Okay. So I'm gonna have to apply some background knowledge here, okay? So, if you're sitting in my classroom right now, there happens to be some posters up if you don't remember what a monarchy, oligarchy, tyranny, and democracy is. But hopefully you do remember. Monarchy is a, a rule by a king or queen. Oligarchy is ruled by few. Tyranny is ruled under a dictator. Democracy is power to the people, ruled by the people. So it seems to me that equality, especially based on the paideia we just did, that democracy would have had the most equality among citizens. So that would be 500 BCE. Okay. Now we have another timeline question for question number two. Using the timeline to answer the question, which letter on the timeline shows when, where the contributions of Julius Caesar best fit? Now you're doing this today. You've done a little bit, a bit of background information about Julius Caesar, but you may not know anything about Julius Caesar, but you can still answer the question. Which letter on the timeline shows where the contributions of Julius Caesar best fit? So now let's go up and look at our text features, okay? We have time and then we have some events. The city of Rome is founded and ruled by kings. Well, Julius Caesar wasn't a king. Rome becomes a republic, okay? And Rome becomes an empire. Now, if I did my homework last night and I went through the the, the module that I that I Miss Nielsen provided, I'm going to know that Julius Caesar lived sometime in this this area. Okay, he was part of the Republic, but he wasn't an emperor. He was a dictator during the Republic, and he was murdered by the Senate. And I'm going to remember that his nephew becomes the first emperor of Rome. Now, if I don't remember that, I'm going to have to take a I'm going to have to take an educated guess. But I do remember that Julius Caesar lived right there. Okay, let's see how I did. Ooh, we got him right. Awesome. All right. We're going to keep trying, guys.